I'm sure a lot of you are asking this question. When is my power coming back on? When are power lines like this going to be fixed? I'm Fox 4 senior reporter Caitlin Knapp, and I went to LCEC to talk to the incident commander about the status of your power coming back on and also what lessons they learned from Ian that they're taking to Milton. The sound of generators echo through neighborhoods across Southwest Florida, like here in Southwest Cape Coral at Dave Collins house. I come from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, so we had hurricanes, nor'easters, snowstorms. I mean, it's not like this is new. He lost power Wednesday night and thinks this is the cause. They're aware of that particular pole right there. Even coming to assess it when I was there. It's a site all across the area, like here on Burnt Store Road. Poles leaning or snapped, but nearby, linemen. Progress is being made. Alan Ruth is LCEC's incident commander. He says two substations got hit, but the others and the source power did well. The main issues, down lines and a few broken poles. We're actually days ahead of where we were at and uh, Hurricane Ian at this point. I talked to Ruth about a year after Ian, asking him what LCEC learned and what will be done differently for the next storm, like communication. That's definitely something that we have uh, improved upon. LCEC now has more outreach booths, meeting customers in the community with concerns. Ruth said base camps for the almost 1,800 linemen, like here at the Civic Center, is new. They don't have to shuffle them back and forth. It just builds in the efficiencies of restoration. As of Friday afternoon, LCEC says about 30% of customers have no power. Thursday night, it was 52%. What are we looking at for restoration times? We're in the process uh, now of uh, putting together our estimated restoration times. Roof says they're not looking at anything beyond three weeks. It could still take, you know, a week or even beyond that for more severe uh, damaged areas, you know, into the two week range uh, in this event. The Barry Islands could take longer because of the damage, but in areas like Collins, Roof doesn't anticipate too long. We have to also understand there's nothing we can do. They're working as hard as they can. In Cape Coral, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.